All right, so this is going to be a deck tech for the no banless popper tournament that Callie is running. Um, it was a double elimination tournament. Uh, I won't spoil the result, but I was pretty happy with my deck choice. Um, I think I could have played better in a lot of the rounds. There's some questionable sloppy play, <laughs> I think, in a couple of the rounds, but um, it's sort of hard because I don't have a lot of these play patterns sort of ingrained in my head yet. Um, so that's tough. Uh, I want to go over sort of why I made the card choices I did, and then um, sort of after that, discuss what I would do differently. So uh, I'm playing Mono Blue. I think the there's a few like obvious archetypes in No Bandless Popper. Um, the main one being Storm. I think the Storm deck is incredible. Um, the other one is like a black base deck with him to Torok, Dark Ritual, and um, possibly Sinkhole, and then Initiative Creatures. I think that um, shell is pretty strong. And then, of course, the blue shell, where you have access to a bunch of banned cards. So, uh, Mystic Sanctuary, Treasure Cruise, Days, Gitaxian Probe. I think these are the only banned cards I'm playing. I don't think anything else is banned in my sideboard. Oh, and I'm playing Fall from Favor on the sideboard, which I'll talk to some, talk about at some point. But um, I think that this re deck list is pretty reasonable. I ended up playing only six large, large creatures in addition to the four Delvers, because I expected most of the metagame to be, be pretty combo dependent. And I didn't expect people to be playing that many removal spells. Um, and then in addition to that, I think Cryptic Serpent is just significantly worse than Delirian Terror. So, you know, do with that um, what you will. So I think there's a decent amount of cards in this deck that are kind of uncuttable. So I think I'm going to play four days no matter what. I'm going to play four Probe. I'm going to play four Brainstorm. I'm going to play, play four Delver. I'm going to play four Counterspell. And I'm going to play four Tolarian Terror. And then I'm probably going to play three Crews, although I could see playing like two Crews. And then from here, you have like Flex Slots. And I think you want at least six Thought Scour effects. Um, pretty sure about that. You could play less or more depending on how many how in on the creatures you want to be um and so these were what i was like these are the cards that i weren't wasn't 100 sure about i think actually adding four lorry into this deck is well it's good a lot of the games just don't get to the point where you actually have five mana um that's just like not really a thing that happens or like maybe you do get to five five turns into the game but the game is going to be already already decided largely by that point um, and so I think that this grindy draw three is significantly worse than it is a normal popper. Or even in stuff like constructed, modern, or legacy or vintage. Um, although there are some games where you trade off resources and then get to draw three cards, but I'd much rather be drawing three cards with Treasure Cruise than with Lauren Revealed. Um, so I'm really not sure about four of this. Maybe like going forward I would play three. Oh, I'm not sure about that. And then I decided to play one Echoing Truth. I think Echoing Truth is the best bounce spell in no bandless popper because um of empty the warrens and chatterstorm so you can use this as a way to fight against the storm decks um the storm decks will often have like red blast and stuff but in game ones this card is nice and um yeah you can just bounce all their tokens and sort of hose them it's not obviously like the storm deck i think the i think the best card in the storm deck is just galvanic relay and this card is not particularly good against galvanic relay but it gets the job done i ended up playing 16 lands of two sanctuary i think this is the correct number of lands i think probably i should have not played the second sanctuary um and just played like this and then have four lorians that can fetch the sanctuary uh, and then days to return it um so the sanctuary was kind of medium it had some utility, but I'm not sure about that. And then probably, I feel like the fourth Lorien is maybe not great. Although, like, I feel like this is maybe too much mana, to be honest. Like, the, most of the deck is, is, the deck is all ones and twos, so it's, I feel like this might be a bit too much mana. Like, if you look at the mana curve, Days is free, Probe is free. So it's like, I have a couple two drops, but most of the cards cost one mana or zero mana. So I'm really not sure... If this, I feel like this is just too much mana, but I, I'm not exactly sure. I would also say Deprive, 
like is cool with mystic sanctuary but probably isn't good i don't know what else this can be um could be another cryptic serpent or something it's also i probably want to would want to main deck a fall from favor in the future this card is really bad against the storm decks but it's good against any deck playing creatures i don't know maybe maybe fall from favor should be in the sideboard i'm not exactly sure if i was to play this again um i think two dispel is reasonable for the blue mirrors uh, the three foils honestly this could be four i also wasn't sure about main decking the foils um one of my opponents who i faced um in a couple rounds played the foil gush combination i think that's actually pretty reasonable um i think it's probably correct to play like some number of gush my fear with the foil gush combo is that it doesn't work very well with days i think days is extremely powerful in this sort of shell uh, especially with mystic sanctuary but i think you're probably supposed to be playing some number of gushes and then I still don't know if you're supposed to main deck the foils. I'm, I'm really not sure about that. Uh, anyways, the Mystic Remora. This is tech from 420 Dragon um, from the Storm decks. But I think it's actually not that good. Uh, I think in decks where you're playing a, a control game and you can make land drops a lot, um, playing a, a card like this makes sense. But I think in the Mono Blue Aggro shell, this the Mono Blue like, Tempo shell, this doesn't really make sense. So probably I would play like maybe another Fall from Favor or something. Or maybe another Foil or something like this. Um, I think overall my deck was built okay, but, um, I'm sure there's some improvement that can be done here. Anyways, um, hope you enjoy the matches. Alright, so I'm here with no banless popper round one against Diego. I'm playing mono blue. Uh, Diego is playing turbo initiative nonsense. <coughs> I am on the play, which is nice. I'm going to hope they don't have a turn one. If they have a turn one, I'm probably just going to die. But they might want to play around days. I'm playing four days, so. I suppose we'll see what happens here. Looks like they're just going for it. Probably means I'm dead. They have Sinkhole, Loose Focus, uh, Island, and another Initiative guy. Um, okay. <clears throat> so if they want to Loose Focus my Thought Scout or my Brainstorm, I think that's fine. The issue is now this has six Toughness, so I need to get multiple creatures into play. And I only have one Bounce Spell in my, in my deck, so... This might be a tough one. Hmm. Okay, so probe's going back and spell pierce is going back. Okay, now I have days for the um counterspell so i currently have six in the graveyard so i'll start with this <clears throat> okay um so my opponent is going to cast what on the next turn i guess they're just holding up um counter so <clears throat> play the delver bruise is pretty nice i'm going to daze the counter I would return the Mystic Sanctuary if I had another um, spell, but I don't. I'm probably going to lose this game, though. It's possible that I should have mulliganed my hand for um, interaction, but... So now, if this Delver flips, or even if it doesn't, I can... It doesn't. So now... Uh, let's see. I can't ever block this, so there's no reason to not attack with everything. I'm definitely going to attack with everything. Grab on basic. And then I think I'm just going to go for a cruise. Okay. Um, 
So now the question is, do I want to try to spike a bunch of spells to cast the Terror? I'm dying in two turns. Let's see, there's four in the graveyard. So five. So I just have to spike one spell. My opponent's next turn is going to be playing another initiative creature, which is going to put them into the, th the throne. So I think what I need to do is counter their initiative creature and then flip the Delver. Because they're going to have to attack me to get the initiative back. <clears throat> but if this Delver doesn't flip, then I'm going to lose. <clears throat> so they can try to get... So they're going to draw a card. So if they have like a Lotus Petal plus a land, they can... I guess they already use their Lose Focus. But... What I have to do is counter their spell, flip the Delver, attack for five, take the initiative, play another Talarian Terror, trump walk with the Delver, and then untap and kill. Okay. <clears throat> okay, it does flip. So now... Um, this costs only three mana, so I'll start with this. Okay, so now I'm going to attack with just the Talarian Terror. <clears throat> and I'm going to forge the Talarian Terror. I could forge the Delver, but it doesn't do much. This. I have Deprive. <clears throat> Unless my opponent has something crazy here, I should be winning. They can sinkhole and force me to use the deprive, but <clears throat> I guess if they have snuff out, then they win. Yeah, if they have snuff out, then they win. This is a different art. It's the same art. Okay, so yeah, now they have a kill spell, they win. And if they don't, then I win. Okay. <clears throat> so I need to bring in foils. Murmuring Mystic, maybe it's a fight over the initiative. Um, let me look at their deck list real quick. Uh, see. I think it's this one. Yeah, so in the sideboard they have three, four null, three to spell, four hydros, four relics. So they're probably just going to bring in three to spell. I'm going to bring in Fall from Favor, I think. Maybe some Dispels. Let's see, what do I not need? Dispel is better than Spell Pierce. So I can trim those out. I can maybe cut one of these. Daze is bad on the draw, but it's still good if they don't go for a turn one. Maybe cut one Daze. Um, Deprive seems way too slow. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Maybe Murmuring Mystic is too slow as well. Yeah, I can trim one cruise, I think, and then bring in two to spell. <clears throat> spell Pierce can hit like rituals and stuff, but so can um, Dispel, because I think most of their rituals are instants. Just Dark Ritual is an instant, so I don't think they're playing any other rituals. Actually, they're playing Nice Whisper and Sinkhole, so I'm actually just going to bring in the Spell Pierces. <clears throat> so they're playing a bunch of stuff that the spell pierces can hit that the uh the dispel can't. Okay, this seems fine. Again, if they have a turn one, they have a turn one, but Okay, so they have they brought in a relic. Interesting. I would not have done that if I was them. So let's go island pass. They have Two Depletion Lands, a Saving Spirit Guide, some other nonsense. Peat Bog. Okay, so now I have four spells in the graveyard. So if they play a Relic and immediately crack it, that's annoying, but I'm actually going to hold the, um, the Probe, <clears throat> because it doesn't let them know that... Uh, like, I can say this is a spell, like, if they, if they go Relic Crack on this turn... Um, 
Okay, they actually have initiative with this spell back up here, I'm pretty sure. So, that's annoying. <sighs> yep. I needed, I needed needed to have a daze or something here. So now he can go Simi Spirit Guide, play the Relic, maybe? Okay, they're not doing that. Simi Spirit Guide. He's gone. Okay, so I needed that. If, okay, so if I would have probed, I would have probably won this game, but instead I'm going to lose. So now I have six, so I'm going to go Cryptic Serpent, Delver. Yeah. <clears throat> now I have a daze, but I think most likely their turn is going to be Relic and then Crack. And I can't block this, so we'll see how this goes. Honestly, didn't expect them to draw an island and then have um, have backup for their thing. So they do go for Relic Crack, which makes sense. I kind of need this Delver to flip. My guess, my guess is they're not going to attack. Okay, they are going to attack. Okay, well, I'm not blocking. Okay, so Island, when a mill. I don't really want to draw that. <clears throat> oh, this is great. Okay, so attack. So now they have an Underdark Explorer, but I can daze that. So should be we should be winning here. Grab an island. All from favor of the vicious, vicious battle rager. <clears throat> so now I have both the emblems. I can daze this. They paid for the Simeon Spirit Guide. If they ever can hit me, then they win. So that's not great. So I really would like to flip the Delver here. Because if they ever get the Monarch back, they get to untap their thing. Uh, okay, perfect. So let's start with a probe for life. Okay, they're done. Perfect. Okay, so in game three, I need a. I want to have all the cheap counter magic. I can. All the one mana counters probably in the deck. Because. This game is going to be decided on turn two, probably. Hmm. I can trip a probe, I think. A probe is pretty broken, actually. I'll keep that. Um, it's also kind of part of my mana base. Oh, it's tough. It's tough. Because I want to have counters in the deck for if they go for a turn, uh... <clears throat> like a turn two, or if we play a more grindy game. I guess on the draw, it actually have to be a turn three. But I also want, like, all the free counters in the deck. I mean, I can, like, trim on this Mental Note stuff, I guess. The cru Cruise is kind of broken in the longer games, so I kind of want to keep it in, but uh, I'm really not confident about this okay i'm probably should be aggressively mulliganing here i'm gonna know if my opponent keeps seven or not but let's see okay this is a keep uh if they go for a turn one i'm probably gonna just discard my hand to counter it and have no mana base but if they don't go for a turn one i can hold up a shit ton of counters i do only have 16 lands so it's really bad if they um if I had to discard my, my old one island, but. So now I'm just hoping they go for like Night's Whisper. Okay, Dark Ritual. So I'm actually gonna spell pierce this because um I can't spell pierce a creature. Like if they just go creature now, I wouldn't be able to um counter that. <sighs> Let's see. They have a Simian Spirit Guide. Okay, so this I'm gonna let resolve. Okay, so they just got a... I traded one card for one card sort of here because they had to spend two cards on the... Um, <clears throat> on the Night's Whisper. And also I got a depletion counter off of this, so that's good. <clears throat> now that I got past turn one, I'm feeling very good about this game. Okay. 
I'm gonna let that resolve now that I have multiple hard counters up. Because I'll probably just go foil, pitch island foil if I have to. Um, so I'm gonna use a counter. They're playing around days. Now they're on one mana, which is gonna make them much worse against days going forward. Um, I don't really see a reason to main phase this. I'm gonna go for end of turn brainstorm plus thought scour probably, and then probably discard one of the foils. I would imagine. Okay, they're doing nothing. I'm looking for like a cruise. Yeah, cruise is perfect. So let's go foil, delver, mill me, uh, brainstorm. I'm just going to spend all my mana here. Okay. So <clears throat> what is my play next turn? I'm going to have seven in the graveyard. So I can go um, cruise everything away. I don't really want to use this. I don't really want to target anything with the Sanctuary, I don't think yet. So let's just go uh, Echoing Truth, Sanctuary, Upkeep, Sanctuary, Target, Brainstorm, No, Cruise, Delver, Yes. So now I don't have an island for oil, but I can daze to return an island back to my hand, so that's good. That's good. Reveal that. Snuff out. Sure. Okay, let's see what their hand is. Their hand is Dispel, Sneak, Tim... Snuff, Explorer. Okay, so the question is, do I want to? How do I want to do this? Uh, I think I'm gonna wait one turn to cruise because I kind of don't want to delve away my whole graveyard. Looks like they have another snuff out though, but that's fine. I'm not super worried. One, one at one point I'll find a five five. So, and if they snuff this, then I can delve it away. Now I have spell pierce. They're gonna snuff now. Okay, they're going to concede. Perfect. All right, so I guess I should talk about the deck list a bit. Um, so I'm just playing like basically mono blue terror. I decided to go lower on the threats because I assumed that the metas would be more combo based, and then I wouldn't really need like most decks wouldn't be playing that much removal. Um, so I'm only playing six threats, and also these kind of like a Clarion terror is much better than cryptic serpent, and B I kind of want to play treasure cruise because this card is broken. Um, and then other than that, I mean, I have more banned cards. I have Days, I have Taxing Probe, I have Mystic Sanctuary. Um, other than that, it's basically just the existing uh, Mono Blue deck. I did play, I'm only playing one re removal spell in the main deck, and then one in the, two in the sideboard. And these are for Chatterstorm. The fact that you can Echoing Truth a bunch of Squirrels is nice. And then in the sideboard, I've just got random stuff. Another banned card, Fall from Favor, Murmuring Mystic for the grindy matchups, Foil for the... Uh, Combo decks, Mystic or more for the combo for the storm decks, and dispel for counter wars, and then hydros for mono red. So I'm back with round two of the no banless popper. Um, let's see, playing no banless mono blue against Sultan Popper, who's playing this mono red storm deck with a bunch of rituals, first day of class, name sticker goblin. Empty the Warrens as the only win con. So I'm going to be looking to find um, Echoing Truth. Um, it looks like he might be AFK, so I'm going to cut the video here and then I'll be back when he has returned. Turn one Delver. I actually have no counter magic, which is not ideal, but I'm definitely going to want to get a clock into play. I feel like uh, my opponent's deck is just better than mine. But I suppose we'll see. I do have some hate in the sideboard, but I'm not confident that that will matter at all. Um... So yeah, we'll see. See how this goes. 
If they go for a ritual, I have to consider, do I want to respond? Because if I respond, it gives them more storm. Uh, but it also lets me um, look for a spell pierce or daze. So I guess we'll see what happens here. My prediction is that I'm going to lose the pre-war games. And then the post-war games will be a bit better with three foil, four hydros, two dispel, and two echoing truth. Um, I don't want to cast spells because it just gives them more storm. I don't think I'm supposed to mulligan this in either. Like turn one Delver with some, some cantrips and stuff. Oh, they're playing Reckless Impulse? Was that on the deck list? They are. They're playing four Reckless Impulse. But no Ren's Resolve. So let's see, are they going for a relay or are they going for in case they have two relays? That is gonna exile a lot of cards. Storm is currently 10, so they can flip over like 20 cards. Okay. They can currently only have 5 mana. So if they have another mana, then they can cast both the relays. If they can't, maybe they're just trying to go for an empty. If I find um, my one of Echoing Truth, then I can beat the empty, but otherwise not so much. And I only have three looks out of 52 cards, which is not good. I'm not sure what we're taking on here. I guess the decision is, do I want to cast an empty or do I want to go for a relay? I feel like you're supposed to go for a relay here, but... Because if you just go for an empty, you can actually lose. Whereas if you go for a relay, you're never going to lose. See if my opponent knows how to do the F6 trick. Doesn't seem that they do know how to do the F6 trick. Another relay. Empty. The fact that they tanked makes me believe that they're um, their hand contains either a mana source or an empty the warrants. More likely, an empty the warrants. So the question is, am I going to, really, going to be able to fight my opponent's start here? I don't think so. With two battles in exile, so basically, it's just either find like, echoing truth or die. Oh shit, I just passed through my turn. Well, it probably didn't matter. My opponent says sad to whiff there, but I they didn't exactly whiff there. And I accidentally skipped through their turn, so... I didn't get to... I redraws. No, I would not like to reveal Island. So, looks like I'm going to have a few more redraws. They actually have, um, what's it called? First day of class, so I'm just dead. Just dead. Unless they m somehow fuck up. I don't think it's possible for me to, me to win this game. I'm actually just going to concede now. Yep. Okay. So, sideboard, I have three foils, two Echoing Truth, four Hydroblasts, two Mystic Remorse, and two Dispels. They have five Pyroblasts in their sideboard. So, Thrive can come out easily. Um, I can probably board out some of the threats. Let 
Let's see. So the question is, do I actually want both the dispels? Some of their stuff is sorcery speed. I'm not going to bring in the dispels, actually. I can trim on some probes. Actually, I'll trim on one probe, maybe. Trim on, like, two dazes. No, I probably want all the free counter magic. Let's see. I'm going to trim on some threats. One cruise. One Lorien. Um, some mills. I feel like winning the game probably shouldn't be a problem. Maybe I don't need foils. There's like a couple foils. I'm really not sure how good Mystic Remora is going to be. Hmm. I'll try one to start, I guess. Do this. Although, honestly, knowing their hand is probably a pretty big game. They don't have any other way to win other than Empty the Warrens, so. Okay, because they don't have any way to, uh, to win other than Empty the Warrens, I'm going to keep. And if they win on turn one, then that's fine. If they don't, then I'll be, I'll be fine. They also do a Pyroblast to counter the Echoing Truth. Okay, so their hand is Probe, Lotus Petal, one Red Blast. So they're not, not going to ever go off this turn, so I'm just going to Thought Scour main phase to play around the, um, the Red Blast. Imagine they're going to start with the Probe. They could be saving Probe for a Storm turn, but I think you're just supposed to fire this off at some point. I think you're actually supposed to probe before you play the land. I'm like almost certain of this because I'm not going to daze the probe and um, you could draw a tap land. Pretty sure that's not a not the correct play. Okay, go. I am definitely... I don't really know that I'm better suited to play the land like the draw-go game just because like, I do have more lands in them, but eventually they, they can just start... Trying to combo every turn. I think I'm just going to take a draw step. Oh, I removed my stops. Okay, that's why. Let me explain some things. Yeah, I removed my, I started removing my stops because I was playing a match where um, it was going to go to time. So they have to play the pedal here. I probably will counterspell the pedal. Just to get a card in my graveyard. Okay. See if they can win. If they if they can win here, then that's pretty cool. But if they can't, um, I can go Echoing Truth with Counterspell back up next turn. Okay, so they spun their wheels for a little bit. Hmm. So I can sanctuary something back. This currently costs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could just play this. Hmm. If they red blast it, they're down a pedal. How do I feel about that? Um, I'm just gonna start with the brainstorm. Okay, so I could shuffle things away, but I kind of like all these cards. Maybe I want to shuffle the days away. So, let's see. So if I go put back... Lorien Revealed Days, but... I could put back Lorien Revealed Days, cycle Lorien Revealed for a Sanctuary. I put back Days? Mystic... No. Hmm. I probably want days against this setup. I want Echoing Truth. 
Hydro Blast is as good as Counterspell. So if I put back Sanctuary, Counterspell, Lauren revealed for Sanctuary. Sanctuary back something. Um, question is, do I need two threats? Maybe I don't need two threats. Maybe I put back these two. And then Lauren revealed for Sanctuary. Sanctuary back one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Could Sanctuary back nothing? I could also just play the Sanctuary and pass. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Put this on top. I feel like I have a pretty reasonable position, but I do need to, do need to start getting threats down. I'm going to draw. Yeah, thoughts got myself. One, two, three, five. I want to cast this these spells main phase because um, my opponent can have. Um, I don't want to build storm for my opponent. Okay, now I have multiple pieces of interaction and a clock. The days is maybe not the best right now, but double days is reasonable. I don't really want to tap up for Lorien quite yet. Also, this days is nice at the sanctuary for obvious reasons. So, because their only win con is empty the warrens, well, I guess they can win with name sticker goblin attacks, but I can just let them do them their thing more or less. Um, the other consideration is relay. So. If I'm, am I afraid of a relay? Hmm. Okay, so they have... They splice a Desperate Ritual, actually. So I kind of want to counter this. I'm going to... Hydro Blast. And then I'll double daze the Red Blast. The thing that I'm worried about here is... um. Uh, relay. Like, I can't, can't let them get a big relay or I'm not going to win. Okay, so now I daze this. Pick up the Sanctuary. So their hand is Desperate Ritual, Seething Song, presumably a um, Relay as well. So if they have like Lotus Petal, Light of Bright Flame, they could get me, but... It doesn't seem very likely. Okay, so now attack for five. I'm gonna put a counter spell on top. Or actually just Hydro Blast. I'm not scared of Empty the Warns at all. So if that's what they have, fine. I'm just scared of a relay. Yep. I guess Eating Song. Yep. Okay, so they have two cards. If they have F-Doc into empty, then I just win. Okay, they're casting Preordain for three mana. So now they're going to cast Relay. For uh, six copies. And I'm gonna have to beat that with a counterspell and a an echoing truth. They have one other card as well. So they have a ritual or a petal, and they get to. Okay, they just don't have a relay. I mean, I was just scared of nothing there. Pretty sure I'm not winning or not losing this game. Okay, so on the draw, how respectable do I need to be of a turn one kill? The question. I feel like Mystic or Mora would not have been good in that game. Um, probe seemed very good. I think I want all four probes. I'm going to bring in a foil over... Eh, I mean, like, I don't know, two foils. I probably built my deck wrong if I'm not sideboarding in all these cards, but maybe I'll go one foil over a Delver on the draw. 
I just try not to die, not to get punked out. I need a mulligan aggressively, though. To not die in turn one. Okay, so this hand has a two lands, a probe, a daze, and a counterspell. It has no foil, but... This is weak to a turn one kill. Otherwise, it's fine. Yeah, if I had foil there, I'd, I'd just want on the spot, so... Okay, relay is fine. And this is this is good for them. Don't get me wrong. I'm hoping to be able to like fight over this stack of cards. In my days, if I draw a, a hydroblast, that'll be great. Okay, so their hand is relay relay. So pass. So they're gonna go mountain metamorphose, and I'm gonna daze the metamorphose. After, do I do that after cycling Lorian, or do I do that after thought scouring? I think cycling Lorian makes more sense. I can't actually daze. Dazing does nothing here. So they get to cast their thing. Because they drew pedal. Man, oh, that's so fucked up, actually. They needed to hit the exact, exactly pedal off the top of their deck. So I, they have a choice between relay and impulse, but I'm pretty sure they're just supposed to go for an impulse. They can't go for seething song. Okay, <laughs> relay for four. Get a relay. Empty. Decker, saving song, perfect. Okay, so now I should just be able to counter the first mana thing they play next turn, and then I should win. Or not win, but should be safe, rather. This is like a very common legacy play pattern when you have all the info. Like, okay, so they have, they can't cast these impulses, they have one relay in their hands. They cast, they play, play a mountain. Now I'm just gonna counter the first thing they play. You do this against playing against Ruby Storm when you like see they reveal like a bunch of action but no mana, or like three mana rituals. Um, you can just counter the first thing and then it sort of effectively counters everything else. Okay. Now they have a relay in hand. Nothing else. I'm gonna hold up another counter. I did side out some threats, so I need to find. I have four, two more Delvers, and I have um, what's it called four Terrors in the deck. I'm gonna brainstorm Thought Scour and probably get rid of the Stays. Okay, so let's get rid of Days, Days, Thought Scour myself. Uh, let's go Delver. I'm gonna play the island out. I don't think I'm gonna need more than one counterspell on this turn. And if I do, I can try to Thought Scour into an island. Um. So if I counter this, then they get to relay for more. So I'm just gonna let this resolve. If I got Seeding Song, I'm gonna counter it. If their last cards are like Mountain Pyroblast or Lotus Petal Pyroblast, then they get to do a lot on this turn. Oh, they're just relaying for two. Okay, so they flip Lotus Petal and Morphos. So now I'm definitely going to need two counter spells going to the, into the next turn. They're not attacking. Why are they not attacking?
Oh, treasure cruise. That's good for me. Okay. So I'm gonna attack. I'm not gonna cast treasure cruise. I currently have counterspell, counterspell plus days. So should be good enough. They have lotus petal, metamorphose, two seething songs, and they use both the relays from their hand. Next turn, I'm going to cruise. If they draw another relay, it's pretty bad. They've drawn three out of the four relays. They're going to cast Morphos. I um, think I'm going to counterspell this. So if they have Seething Song plus um, Red Blast, I can counter the Seething Song and then just uh, daze the Red Blast. So I'm going to counterspell this. That's kind of the thing I'm the most worried about. So now they're almost certainly going to cast Seething Song. Oh, they have a Splice? They're Morphosing. Okay, so... My options here are... Counterspell or Spell Pierce. Um, trying to think how I get punished. So, if my opponent has a Red Blast in their hand and I Counterspell, they're going to Red Blast my Counterspell, Resolve Metamorphose, make two red. Then they're going to have three mana, and they can daze the Seething Song. So I think this is correct. Okay, perfect. So now they have one card. I'm going to get to cruise. One, two, three... Uh, I just read really random stuff. Okay, um, Island attack for three. I might end up hydroblasting this goblin at some point, but my opponent isn't actually going to pressure my life total um, that much, so. I think they don't have burn spells or anything, so I kind of just want to keep hitting with the Delver. I can take, like, at least one more hit after this one, I think. Okay, that's good. It's lane terror. Attack for three. So I can't actually win by Hydro Blessing the Name Sticker Goblin on the next turn, unless my opponent casts like a probe or something for life. Yeah, Mystic Remora would have been really bad in this game. They're likely going to chump, I would think. I'm just going to leave up all my counter spells. I can cycle Lorien for an island if for whatever reason I want to pitch cast the foil. Oh, they're not blocking. Interesting. Interesting. Thing about relay is that relay flips cards for the next turn, so even if they have a big relay here, it's not that scary. And I can echoing truth, uh, if they go first day of class empty, then I can echoing truth that. And I'll let this resolve for sure. They grab a preordain, I would, I would assume. I don't think they preordained yet. No. I'm gonna spell pierce this, I think. Yeah, Spell Pierce. If they go for a Power Blast, I can Daze. And then that will give me a land for the foil. Alright, sweet. GG. No ban list. Round three. Against Kalko, we're playing a pseudo mirror match. This hand is terrible. Um, opponent's deck is basically my deck, but without treasure crews, and they're playing four cryptic serpents. They have no learning revealed, but there's no way I'm keeping this hand. Okay, this hand is marginally better. The bottom is sanctuary. Opponent's on seven. Okay, so they have three days. Um, 
One deprive. See how this goes. I feel like I probably should be unfavored game one, but I have some pretty sick sideboard cards. So I think Fall from Favor and Murmuring Mystic should be pretty good here. Taking hard guess days on the Thought Scour. Just gonna keep passing, I guess. I think I'm fine if they pitch cast the day or alt cast the days, but I don't love them being able to hard cast. They don't have any big draw spells in their deck. They're playing spell fears, playing two spell fears. Uh, let's see what they're up to. Do I spend mana on this? No. If they spell pierce, I'll pay. I think. Okay, so they have Cryptic Serpent, Cryptic Serpent, Gush, Counterspell, Sanctuary, Island. Huh. Okay, how am I going to win this game? Let's think. Hmm. I might go end of turn brainstorm and then cycle Lorien for a Sanctuary. Let's see what they do. They have no... They have no way to get cards in their graveyard. I mean, they can, like, gush back their lands, but... I currently have three spells. I kind of want to wait with this stuff, because, like, if I can hard cast this Lorien, it's pretty good. My opponent doesn't have Lorien in their deck. They have gush, so... Um, do I want to cast Brainstorm? Not really. Just hold up double counters. Probably brainstorm on the start of my next turn. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That's pretty good. They milled a couple spells. They milled only one spell. One, two, three, four in their graveyard. Let's see if they want to Mystic Sanctuary back something. I think the best Sanctuary target is probably, like, Counterspell, and the, the second best one is, like, Cruise. But, like, I think this game is not going to come down to... This game might come down to, um, like, resources in deck, because we each have so few threats that... I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this. I don't really also... I also don't really want to use my Counterspells on um, Delvers, but I might have to. Okay, so this is 100% getting countered. So if they counter back, I have I can either brainstorm or deprive. So <sighs> deprive setting me back a land kind of sucks. I currently have four days in my deck, two spell pierce that I can draw to if I brainstorm. I could also let this resolve. My opponent has three days in their deck. So they have four cards. They could gush into a daze. I think I'm going to brainstorm. I don't really want to use this deprive quite yet. My opponent wants to cast gush here. I think that's fine. <clears throat> the fact that my opponent has more threats than me is a pretty big problem, I'd say, though. Okay, so... Interesting. Um, so the question is, do I want to shuffle this? I think next turn, if I go Island, Probe for Mana, play Cryptic Serpent, and have one counter up, I think that's fine. And then the turn after that, I can set myself up, up for uh, Harkas Lorien. So, let's go uh, Brainstorm Lorien. My opponent is just considering whether or not they want to use Gush, I think... I just really don't want to return my lands to my hand when I have a 5-drop. If they have days, it kind of sucks, but I do get to see their hands, so... And this can become a Mystic Sanctuary at some point. Okay, so they have... Counterspell is the, the unknown card. Um, so let's just go. Cryptic Serpents. 
last turn. I'm just gonna counterspell the first thing they play. Hopefully they don't hit a um like a daze off a gush. Are they gonna target daze? I'm gonna target counterspell. Okay. So they're gonna gush. And I'm gonna counter the gush. I think. The problem here is that I'm going to take a bunch of damage from the Cryptic Serpent they're going to play. And they're going to drop Counterspell next turn. Okay. Yeah, the last card was a Counter. So they have Counterspell, Cryptic Serpent. So then the other hand is Cryptic Serpent, <laughs> Counterspell, Mystic Sanctuary Islands. So I can't actually resolve this. So now I want to find um, a cruise, I think. So I'm just going to start with Brainstorm. Okay, that's really bad. Um, so what I can do is put back two islands, uh, Mystic Sanctuary back, Mental Notes, I think. Alternatively, I can go Tolarian Terror, they counter. Yeah, so I think what I want to do is go Mystic Sanctuary, target Thought Scour. Yes. Cast Tolarian Terror. Turn Mystic Sanctuary. So next turn, and this is kind of what I'm worried about. If these threats just trade off, then my opponent has more threats in their deck than I do. Okay, so they're probably going to target Gush. Yep. If they have a way to draw cards, it's really bad for me. Yeah, this is really bad for me. Because <laughs> now they just get to Gush again. And if they have a Daze, then... That's not great. This is totally fine. This is actually one of the better case scenarios, I think. So their hand is Mystic Sanctuary, Island Island. That I know about, I think. So I actually get to play around days, I think, by starting with Thought Scour. Mill the lands away. I'll cast the Lorian Revealed next turn, most likely. Okay. Hmm. That's not good. So my options here are... I could go Island, and then cast Lorian. And then next turn I can Sanctuary back to Lorian. But they have three days that I want to play around, and they have two Spell Pierce. Um, so the thing I'm going to do is cast Terror. And then probably just Sanctuary back. Brainstorm. I feel very far behind. So now they can Sanctuary back some Counterspell. And I guess Gush. We'll just hold up a gush, I guess. Okay. So, cast brainstorm. Okay. So, um, okay. I don't want to do this. So, I can play an island. Hmm. So, I think I want to put back island cruise. Can I go for, can I play all these in one turn and play around days? But if I put back these, I can't. 
Hmm. I think what I want to put back is Island Cruise, play an island, cast Lord Interbuild, they cast Gush, and they cast Counterspell. Then I untap and jam Cruise. Alternatively, I could put these two back and then cycle this for a Sanctuary and then cast Cruise and then Sanctuary back the Cruise. But if I do that, my opponent goes... So I cast Cruise, they counter. And they gush back Sanctuary Island. Wait, do they have a gush? I guess I'm just assuming they have a counter, but I don't even know if they do. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to go Island on top, Cruise on top. Island. Ask Lorian. If they have Spell Pierce, they get to get me here. If they have days, then I get to I can pay for that. <laughs> so they're just gonna draw their counter spell, I guess, that they put on top. Okay. Can't pay. Uh no attacks. Now I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. Because I'm drawing a A card they can just counter. Oh, what? What is this? Seems like an odd play. They're playing a bunch of bounce effects. They're playing one snap. And they're only playing two bounce effects, and they're drawing them both, I guess. So now I'm just going to jam Cruise. See where that goes. If they have, they play a creature I can daze it. Okay. Let's go Cruise. I'm going to hold this island for a brainstorm. I want to do something so I can pick up Mystic Sanctuary and put Treasure Cruise on top of my deck. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Now they can gush into Echoing Truth. Or they can Sanctuary back Echoing Truth, rather. I am one hit away from dead. Sanction back brainstorm. So they don't have. I'm looking at their list. They have one snap on Echoing Truth. And they're both used already, so. I'm going to trade here. I kind of want to play around Echoing Truth. I'm going to block like this. Okay, I'm gonna thought scar myself. Okay, that's perfect. I milled a bunch of I milled a bunch of creatures, I think. Okay, so how much mana do I want to pump into this? Do I wanna play the island? I think I just want to keep six spells in the graveyard. So I currently have 12 cards. I've spent like three mana. Actually, I'm just gonna play this island now. I wanna keep deprive. Learn your real treasure cruise. Yeah, I think this is fine. <sighs> this is gonna get counterspelled, I would guess. And then I'm gonna daze. Oh, I shouldn't have played the land. Mm, yeah, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have played the land, and then I should have dazed the counterspell. Uh, because in that case, um, I can replay the Sanctuary and have a cruise ready for next turn. But I do, I do want to play around like multiple dazes and stuff, because uh, that's the sort of thing that they would would have at this point. My guess is they're going to put a counter spell on top and then play another creature. And if they do that, I probably just have to daze it to get back the Sanctuary. Then if I draw any draw spell, I can get play the Sanctuary, put true Cruise on top, and then draw into the Cruise. If I draw into Mental Note, it's bad, but if I draw into Thought Scour, I can just Thought Scour them and mill over their 
their sanctuary card. Okay, echoing truth goes on top. It's worth noting that echoing truth will also bounce their creature. Okay, that's not great. Um, I can go to one. So, I think I'm just going to pass. So if they cast Echoing Truth, it does bounce one of their own creatures. So, if they bounce this, all it does is... It's just a trade, so I think this is fine. Yeah, they can pay for double days. That's fine. <laughs> I'm hoping that they counter this. Okay, they discarded some stuff, so I'm going to daze this, return Sanctuary. They can pay. That's fine. Sanctuary back, cruise, Delver to Trump, pass. <laughs> I could have actually dazed that to return the sanctuary. Maybe that would have been good. How many more creatures do I have? One, two, terrors here. Third tier here, perfect serpent there. Not much left. Wow. All right, that didn't work out. I wonder if there's a better way I could play that. All right. So I have good cyber cards though. So bring these in. Trim on some of this stuff. I think it's dazes maybe. I can't treat this bad. Mental not just medium. Maybe just going fast is good, but Delver seems pretty good actually. Daze is pretty decent on the play, but I think these mat this matchup isn't gonna be super tempo y. It's gonna be more value y. A probe is pretty nice to play around their stuff, actually. Keep four probes in. Try one Delver. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong. I have a nice... Like, this Murmuring Mystic should be a Mirror Breaker if I can draw it, but... And resolve it. Okay, this is fine. If they play turn one Delver, it's pretty rough, but. Okay, so no turn one Delver. My guess is they have like a Thought Scour effect. They probably use now. Okay, they got one spell. Ideally, I can be the control deck in this matchup with the Murmuring Mystic and Monarch card, but. Um, how bad is this for me? This is gonna get spell pierced or um dispelled, but that's fine. Do a Delver. Sure. Um interesting. 
One, two spells in the graveyard. I'm going to brainstorm this turn. Okay, this is good stuff. So, hmm. They currently have three things in the graveyard. I'm going to have three things in the graveyard. I'm probably just going to want to clear this with Thoughtscour. I can also clear it with Lorraine. I probably will do that. <laughs> I don't think Days is good here. I want to resolve the treasure cruise. I'm going to put back Days Lorraine, I think. And if they counter this Thought Scour, that's fine. I can also Thought Scour them if I see a card I don't like. I am sort of like running myself low on lands by doing this. But I think if I can resolve my treasure, like I want to get down the Cryptic Serpent and then um, resolve Treasure Goose and then just kind of go from there. If they cast Brainstorm, I'm going to counter it. Okay, they're going to either Dispel, Spell Pierce, or Daze here. They're going to gush all their lands back. That's actually really strong. So I currently have Lorien and Daze on top of my deck. So if I go upkeep Thoughtscar myself, I'll have one, I'll four, five, six, seven spells in the graveyard and two mana. So I can cast the Cryptic Serpent. It looks like they're trying to cast the creature. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. They should have just enough to cast a Cryptic Serpent. Yeah. I'm going to brainstorm try to hit a land here. Okay, so... Oh. So I want to say this pro for after I resolve Murmuring Mystic, which is going to be next turn, or to try to see if the coast is clear from Murmuring Mystic, I suppose. Delver is the worst card here, so I'll put that on the bottom. I'll put Thoughtscar on top of that. Cast a Serpent. If they want to daze back their last land, that's fine, I guess. Or foil. They probably don't have foil in post board, but they might. I'm going to trade these Crypting Serpents off. I think if I can get this Murmuring Mystic going, I'm going to win. I'm not even convinced that they have... Um... Bounce spells in post-board. They might, though. Okay. So, yeah. If they have days. I just lose on the spot. And I don't really like losing on the spot. I'm going to see what they've got. We have a foil, counterspell. This is their hand. This is so bad for me. So I'm going to make them use foil. Discard Island Counterspell. I'm pretty fucking dead now. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with Cruise. Let's try this counterspell. Okay, so let's cast. They they're just gonna counter whatever I play and win. I'm pretty sure. Play this. It costs it costs one additional. Can't yeah, play this.
What? Okay. Um. So now I have to cast Cruise. They counter it, and then I cast Delver, and then the Delver doesn't flip. Okay. So now they have to counter this. I'll daze their counter. And then their Delver has to not flip. And then I'm going to go to one. And then I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. So I have to draw into you my Monarch card, I guess. Assuming they attack with this. They just attack here. Then I can flip my Delver. Yeah, this is the correct attack. So I have a block. And then I have to draw into my Fall from Favor, I guess. Um, yeah. Now I'm pretty sure I have no outs. All right, no ban list. Rematch against Diego. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this hand on the play with the days. Uh, it's not the strongest hand, but if they go to sinkhole my land, I can daze it. And I like that I have Delvers in the first couple turns, although I might end up mental noting, noting away whatever I reveal here. If they go for a Dark Ritual, I'm probably just going to daze that. Can't daze that. Hopefully they go for a Sinkhole or something. Into Torak. I'll daze that. <clears throat> Alright, well, hopefully they don't hit my land away. Alright, well. Now it's Delver versus the world. Uh, I draw a land at some point. Okay, there's a land. So now my opponent's likely to play the initiative this turn, and I just have to flip the Stelver. And then I can grab another land. Okay, they have a flying one. That's really bad for me. And so this one is just supposed to let the him resolve. Um, I'm gonna play mental on, on my main face. I think I'm losing this game. Okay. <clears throat> Now, the brainstorm. Okay, so let's put back. So I'm gonna play the cryptic serpent this turn, and I can attack with both next turn. Um, I guess I draw one to draw the counter spell next turn. So we're gonna attack with both. They're gonna eat the delver, and then I get to shuffle away a card. Um. This is assuming they have nothing. If they have something, if they have like a counter for this, then I'm just dead. I think. Now they're trapped 15. I could also just attack with the Cryptic Serpents, depending on what their play is here. Because they can't really chump block. Yeah, I'm just going to attack with the Cryptic Serpents. I don't really think they can chump block. Now they're at seven. So 
They can't take a hit from the whole squad. I'm interested to see how this plays out. So they get to draw a card. Uh, I feel like they could have attacked and tried to draw to snuff out, but... Fine with me. Okay, so on the draw, I think I want the foils. Definitely won't fall from favor. That's it. And then I can trim... Like, the Echoing Truths are okay. I think keeping one in is fine. Deprive's a bit slow. Um, Days is bad on the draw. I'll trim one of those. Although, it's still decent against my opponent. Um, not having Gush makes Foil so much worse. I definitely feel like I built my deck slightly incorrectly. Trim one Lorien. Trim one Mental Note. I'm just kind of hoping my opponent goes all in on a big like Dark Ritual Lotus Petal thing, and then I can counter that. Okay, um, hmm. Interesting. My opponent has turn one initiative, the sand is pretty bad. But if they have a hand that involves like sinkholes and stuff, the sand is pretty good. I'm gonna keep. Let's see what they go for. Okay. I guess this is gonna be a dark ritual. And then an initiative creature. Well, they have the big one. Okay. Well, I'm probably just dead. This format is not the most, uh, doesn't have the best gameplay. I'll definitely say that. And the foil was on top. Okay, so they've hidden the Torak Vicious Battle Rager. I'm going to take eight. Yeah, I'm just dead. Okay, on the play, I want the days back. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. Foil, interim one, maybe on the draw. Or sorry, on the play. Okay, this hand, I think, is a keep. The fact that I have Spell Pierce for interaction is nice, because I can Spell Pierce him to Torok, or I can also him to, uh, Spell Pierce a Sinkhole, and I can also Spell Pierce uh, like a Lotus Petal Dark Ritual type thing. Which I probably will do, um, since they Mulligan. Okay, Swamp, Dark Ritual. Um, I'm going to Spell Pierce this. Because if they have a Simian Spirit Guide, then they can um, play an initiative creature on the first turn. I don't really want that. I'm going to cast Mental Note on my, my main phase. This stops me from representing a Counterspell, but there are... I have Delvers in my deck that I would want to play on the main phase. Hopefully they just pass. Okay. So now, creatures currently cost 4, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can, can't cast one until next turn. So my guess is they're going to XL Sandy Spirit Guide and cast an initiative creature. Him, hopefully they hit some lands. Okay, they hit one of the lands. That's good. Night Whisper is actually really good in their deck, I think. I think that's a really good deck building choice. I quite like that. All right, Thoughts Guard myself. Okay, so I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six spells. So I can go Cryptic Serpent. Sanctuary. Target Treasure Cruise. And then hold up spell pierce. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah. It's unfortunate that the Mystic Sanctuary, like I can't flash this in. Uh, I'm actually going to Spell Pierce this. If my opponent wants to um, pay mana and just pass, I think that's that's totally fine. Because next turn I'm going to be able to go to Lair Enter into um, Treasure Cruise. And I think what they're looking to do on this turn is play an initiative creature. So. I think this is fine. Oh no. That is so bad. Okay. Well, can't do anything now. Hopefully, hopefully neither can they. No, no. Oh, that's so good. I think I'm dead now. 
And this format needs Force of Will. Be so much better with Force of Will. Honestly, normal Papa would no, normal Papa would be also significantly better with Force of Will. I think. I'm just dead. So now I need to draw like exactly treasure cruise. I'm gonna probe for mana. There's nothing I can draw really, except for Delver maybe. I mean I would have liked to cast that, but I think my life is gonna be under attack here. I think I'm probably just dead unless I draw into um my fall from favor. I have one of in the deck. My opponent has Dispel and what else in their hand? Is it two Dispels? I think it is. Oh my god, that's the best draw. Let's do this. Okay. It's cost one. Maybe there's a chance. They don't draw anything, they get a draw off the Undercity. So if they draw into another creature, then I'm basically just dead. But... If it's the one that costs 5 mana, then I can daze it. Okay. Am I gonna win? Okay, Foil is another counter, just a counter spell. So let's attack. Grab the basic land, and I'm just gonna hold this up as a hard counter. Not sure if I'm supposed to cycle Lorien. I don't think I am. I could also just cast this and then hold up the pitch. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so... I have a bunch of options here. They have two dispels, right? So I think I'm just going to play my creatures out. And then next turn I'll just hold up a bunch of counters. Unfortunately, I can't pitch cast these foils yet. Alright, good games. Okay, we're no ban list against Nyx. Their deck list is Mono Black Initiative with four him, four sinkhole. This deck list actually looks pretty good. I kind of like the look of this. Um. Yeah. It's bad against the turn one. I think against the him to Turok deck, I'm supposed to keep this sort of thing. I just hope they don't kill me on turn one. Um. I don't really have that much in the sideboard. I think Spell Pierce would be pretty good against, good against my opponent's deck, but depending on how all in they are, I might board in Foil, although Foil is pretty bad against the, the Hint of Torox situation. Alright, let's see if they turn one. I think if they hit me. I'm supposed to let it resolve. If they sinkhole, I think I'm also supposed to let that resolve. I really hope they don't play a uh, spell this turn that I have to counter because um, I don't want to have to return my land, but yeah, so I think I guess mental notes and then this is going to resolve. Okay, that's fine. They also used up half their land, so it's nice. They currently have three spells in the graveyard only. Um, what's it called? Treasure Cruise is gonna be the best card against my opponent's deck, I think. Build two islands, not great. Alright, let's see what they got. I could spend mana, but I don't think life really matters here. Okay, they have Sign of Blood, Troll of Cause of Doom, Underdark Explorer. And I currently have one, two, 
three, four, five cards in the graveyard. Is that correct? Um, hmm. yeah, I'm gonna pass. Recycle troll. I'd like to get one more spell in the graveyard. I don't think they're supposed to play anything here, but. Okay. So now I can play these terrors for one mana. Then if Counterfuckle stays. Oh, they just accidentally skipped through their turn. Interesting. Uh, yeah, they accidentally skipped through their turn, I guess. Okay, so... Murmuring Mystic is decent against the initiative part of their deck, but the problem is that it's four mana, which doesn't seem very good on the draw. I could bring in the foils in case they try to go all in. I don't hate doing that on the draw. Echoing Truth is probably not where I want to be. I could maybe burn in one of these. I do think I want Fall from Favor. Let's see what their sideboard looks like. They have two Duress, three Echoing Decay. Two wrench mine, choking sands, fairy cup. Okay, so I don't really like the foils against the like discard, although I do like the foils against the turn one initiative. Maybe I'll board in one, and one, and then it's really rough because if I board in cards that are good against their combo plan, it's bad against the fair plan. Much removal. They have two defile for snap. I'm gonna bring in a second foil on the draw. Figure out what I'm gonna board out. Deprive seems a bit too grindy. Try mental mode as well. It's possible I'm supposed to have all three foils in my deck on the draw. Um, but again, foil is really bad against the the him to Torok situation. Okay, this hand is good. I can brainstorm to flip my Delver if I need to. They kept seven, which is kind of spooky, but... Fall from Favor is really good against the their deck, so... Hands of Truck? Okay. That's fine. Not great, but it's fine. Because they had to use two cards to do that. Obviously, Fall from Favor is the best card against my opponent's deck, so it's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that's going to resolve. If they cast Sun and Blood or something, I'll counter that, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to hold up Hardcast Days plus Altcast Days, I think. And I'll probably brainstorm on my main phase next turn. Um, I mean... So if I, I can hard cast days, make them pay, and then pitch cast days, and that kind of destroys the, the Lotus Petal. So I actually am going to do that. I'm still trading two for two here, but it, I'm destroying the Lotus Petal in the process. Do this. And they don't run Semian Spirit Guide. This play gets blown out by Semian Spirit Guide, but that's not a card in their deck. Okay, now I need to draw a threat. Do I wait a turn? Hmm. I don't think I can wait a turn. Maybe I'm supposed to wait a turn? Not sure. Okay, so I currently have six cards in the graveyard. I'm gonna put back Island, Echoing Truth, play an Island, pass to my opponent. Almost certainly just will scour myself. Hopefully I don't have an initiative creature. If they if I figure out that I need a bounce spell, I can um now the question is do I am I gonna want a bounce spell? Mm. Interesting. I think I'm supposed to do this. If I find a daze, it's really good. Okay, I did not find a daze. That's gonna resolve. 
And now I need to find a Delver of Secrets. So do I start with a cruise? I'm going to start with a brainstorm because the cruise is going to um, get rid of a bunch of my stuff. Okay. So I guess I'm going to put back two islands, play an island, spend two mana to cruise. And then pass. Not looking good for me. I can counter their next play by discarding these two islands to foil and then cruise. You get one top and bottom. Pretty sure they played that swamp, so. Because they're going in the control room, I'm not the most scared of this. Um, looks like they're going for the five drop. Okay, so I have to counter this. Pitch these two islands. Okay, so now I'll just go Delver plus Counterspell, I think. And I kind of need this Delver to flip. Well, I have a lot of hits in this deck. This deck is really, really good for Delver flipping. Counter that. See if they attack. They probably should not attack. It's only one damage. Okay. Bold. <sighs> okay, so I drew a cruise off the Delver. I'm gonna attack them to thin my deck, I suppose. Um... And then I'm going to spend two mana on this, I think. I want to keep cards in my graveyard. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. So I can't actually cast this yet. Um, my opponent gets to make a skeleton with menace. There's not much else I can do this turn, so. Passing back. My opponent doesn't really have a whole lot they can hit off the throne. Actually, they have trolls and they have... Um, thorns so let's see how this goes i'm i'm almost certainly going to go down the forge route and try to race i can actually put echoing truth on top of my deck with mystic sanctuary okay it doesn't look like they have anything so i'm gonna forge up the delver i don't think forging up this makes a whole lot of sense If they have a removal spell, it's really bad for me. But I'm assuming that they would have already used that. Okay, so currently the Telerian Terror costs me three to cast. So I can cast the Telerian Terror and then put the Bounce Ball on top of my deck. I guess is what I'm going to do. Now they can't they can't make me discard the Echoing Truth. So now I can I can threaten lethal like this, because this is 10 damage plus the 5 from the trap. But if I block the Vicious Battle Rager, I take 5. If they attack with just the Vicious Battle Rager, I'm gonna block. If they attack with both, then I'm not gonna block. Okay, this is the correct attack, I think. They can't block. Now they get the throne. Okay, they reveal no creature. That's rough. So now they're forced to chump block, unless they have a removal spell. Okay, they have a creature. Okay, so I can bounce the troll, make them chump block. This is only what I block, right? Becomes blocked by a creature. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's bounce the troll. Okay, 
GG's. Alright, another round of no ban list. Playing as a similar deck to last round, playing Turbo Initiative with no Lotus Petals, instead Saving Spirit Guide, which I guess is probably marginally better. Opponent mulligans, they win the die roll, they mulligan to six, I'm also gonna mulligan. Oh my god. Alright, I guess I'm also going to five. Alright, this hand is good. My opponent doesn't kill me on turn one. Um they have a lot more fast mana than Yuck. Bottom Sanctuary. Kill Bottom Sanctuary. Hmm. I think I'm definitely bottoming one of the mill effects. I'm assuming that the counter spell is probably gonna be too slow. I don't really want sanctuary right now. Alright, let's see if I die on turn one. I'm not dying on turn one. Okay. My question is, do I play Delver? Let's see, what removal do they play? They play Cast Down, Sinkhole. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass for one turn. Try to spell pierce whatever they play is here. I could get punished for putting the Sanctuary on the bottom, but... I don't really want to play with the tap land on this turn. If they cast Dark Ritual, I probably have to spell pierce it. And then if they have a Simi Spirit Guide to pay, that's not good for me, but I don't really have another option. Ugh. Alright, now I have to draw days. Yeah, now I'm dead. Four in the grave, but the fact that I lost the die roll is really bad. So you're gonna swamp the mystery card. You're gonna forage, which is definitely the correct play. If they have cast down, they just will basically win on the spot. I'm playing four hymns as well. This is just fucking disgusting. Just fucking disgusting. They have two Crypt Rats in their deck and they drew one of them. So now I basically have to draw a land or I die. I only have three spells in the graveyard, actually. I needed to either not mulligan or win the die roll. Unfortunately, neither of those happened. The die roll is just so important in this format with no force of will. There's no point in playing this game anymore. Okay. So they're all in. I'm bringing three foils, fall from favor. They have like more more grindy stuff, so I'm gonna bring in the murmuring mystic actually. Um I think probe is pretty reasonable. Daze is very good. Mm, bounce spells, I think, are well, having one bounce spell is probably also reasonable. Um on the play, I'm not going to... Mm, I think the game is going to be more grindy. They have three cast down, though, so maybe this isn't very good. I'm going to not play the Murmuring Mystic. Probably not. On the play, I'll play two foils, I think. Okay, actual keep, actually keepable hands. Very nice. They keep seven as well, though. See what they got. Okay, they have Hymns of Torak. They have a Relic, a Troll. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to cycle this. And then 
I'm not gonna daze the relic, I think. I'm just gonna do this. I don't think I'm supposed to be countering relic for doing this at this point. <laughs> so now let's see if I thought scour myself and they activate relic, I can cruise. So I'm just gonna do that. If I draw into Tolarian Terror, then I'll play that, but otherwise. Um so if I cast cruise here. We're down to five, up to eight cards. So I do have to discard. Um, how do I feel about discarding? Not great. I mean, if they just crack the relic, I think that's actually fine with me. Is that fine with me? No, I'm just going to cruise. They're going to cast um, something for me to daze next turn, so it's fine. I'm going to discard probably, hmm, this is tough. I'm going to discard Sanctuary. I can cycle for a Sanctuary if I feel like I need another one. I don't know exactly how. They have a million Defiles. I think this is their hand. Whatever. They have like a hymn, some defiled, stuff like that. Um, okay, so I'm looking for like Delvers now. Pass. I don't think removal spells are how you beat my deck, so. Although I already did exile two of the Slayering Terrors, so. Brainstorm. Hmm. I don't think I want foil. I don't think I want islands. Let's go ahead and mill myself. They're deciding whether or not they want to crack the relic. Pretty sure I don't care either way, really. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna island cycle for a normal island. Pass. I'm playing two relics in the sideboard. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so now they can play around days. I guess they're going to cast something since they have eight cards. I definitely think that I should have considered bringing in the... Um, Armoring Mystic because my opponent seems to be all in on the uh, removal spell plan. Discards him to Torak to hand size. Okay, here we go. Don't cycle 12 cause of doom. Let's see, did they reveal on turn one? Did they reveal? Let's see. Um, let's see what they revealed. Forget. It doesn't it doesn't say in the chat what they revealed. Now they can play around spell pierce with the um the hymns and stuff. They're not going to. Um sure, I'll cast brainstorm. Don't really want to shuffle any of these away, but also can't play any of these. So hmm. I mean, I can probe them, put a card in the graveyard. It doesn't really do much, though. I think Echoing Truth and Probe are the worst cards. I'm going to cycle. I don't think cycling for a Sanctuary does much. Although it's probably better than an island here because I can daze it back. So let's go Sanctuary. Target, I guess, Lurian Revealed. I'm just going to say no, actually. I think it's fine to leave that in my graveyard. I can, if I daze back the Sanctuary at some point, I can... Uh... Hmm. 
or return the ring revealed that way. Okay. Next one. Okay, so this costs four to cast. My opponent's only removal is they have Chain Reduct in their sideboard. So if I tap out for Talarian Terror, I currently have six mana. I could have one counterspell up. That's fine to do this, actually. The biggest punish here is Chain Reduct. Um, so hopefully I don't have that. I know they have to, um, what's it called? Defile. Cost three mana. So if they go three mana defile, I'll counter it. And then if they go another three mana defile, I can daze that. That's interesting. Now the question is do I double spell pierce? I think I'm supposed to double spell pierce this. Because, or I actually I think spell pierce daze is better. Uh, and then if they have Simeon Spirit Guide, I can daze again. But this allows me to either put a counter spell or a Lorraine Veiled on top of my deck. Probably just a counter spell, I imagine. Okay, I'm gonna start by th thought scaring myself. Okay, so now let's go attack for five. Sanctuary, target, counter spell. And then pass. The cruise next turn, and I kind of want to hold up all my counter magic. I don't want to exile the cards from my graveyard with the cruise. My opponent has um, like defile and stuff. Okay, so this has to be countered, I think. If they cast defile, I can spell pierce it. If they have Simmons Spirit Guide, I can daze. Okay. I could hold some lands here, but. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll pass. Now I have an interesting decision if they cast a file if I want to use counterspell. I think I'm just supposed to respond with uh results. Okay, so they took they didn't take the best card in my hand, so that's good. Pretty happy with how that how that turned out. So this is gonna get dazed. And they know I have a counterspell. They get to pay. And the question is, do I counter this or not? I think my opponent has another defile. I think I will counter this. So now I'm going to target probably um, Treasure Cruise over Lorien Reveal because it's going to get me more cards overall. So they have Defile and a Mystery Card, I think. I think I'm supposed to counter this. Um, how do I lose if I don't counter this? If they have Vicious Battle Rager as their last card, they still have to trump, so I think it's worth countering. Okay, so the way that game played out, I think I want Murmuring Mystic. On the draw, I probably want to foil over a Daze. Um, I still think Delver's pretty good. I could trim one threat, given that they're on like the relic removal type plan. I'm gonna trim a Lorien, I guess. I probably this is probably too much mana in the deck. Like I think I built the deck slightly wrong with too much mana in it, but uh, 
So let's see. So I'm hoping that I can open on a foil and my opponent can go all in and then I can counter that and win. Okay, I mean, I'm going to keep... This hand's a bit spooky because if I have to cast foil on the first turn, I will lose my only land. Um, but I do have a redraw, a couple of redraws. I have Cataxian Probe and um, a draw for turn. So on four cards, if they go all in. Um, they will have nothing, most likely. Because the all-ins are like Swamp Dark Ritual, Simian Spirit Guide, that Battle Rager. Which I guess would just leave them with the Swamp. And me with four cards in hand. I think I like my odds there, so. Obviously, I wish I had another island here, but. Also, wish this was not a Mystic Sanctuary, but. I think this is just the cost of doing business. Mystic, Mystic Sanctuary is just too powerful to not play. Especially with Lorien Revealed. I kind of wish this card was legal normal popper, but obviously it's a bit too good. I guess my opponent's deciding if they want to go all in or if they want to um, do something else. Okay, so now I'm gonna have days up. You can see what they have too, which is really nice. Okay, so they do have an all in hand. Um, the next turn, they're gonna have access to three, four mana. So if they draw a land, I can daze. Uh, so I think I'm supposed to play this. Worst case scenario, like let's say they draw Dark Ritual, which is plus two. I can daze back the Mystic Sanctuary and then. Um, Foil the um, the spell they cast. I still need to draw into a land though. Okay, and they concede. Cool. All right, we are in the grand finals of the No Bandless Popper tournament. I was lucky enough to win the die roll here, which is very important in this matchup. This is a mirror match. So I think this hand is fine. Not great. I definitely don't want to cast a Prive on turn two, if possible. Um, okay, I'm never going to counter this, so I'm going to let this resolve. And I think I'm going to just scour. I want to save this brainstorm for when I know what I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to cast brainstorm here. If my opponent dazes it, I'm pretty happy with that. You think? Okay, they're not dazing it. So. I want to flip this Delver, and then probably I want to um, cycle away one of these cruises, although Treasure Cruise is going to be quite potent in the mirror match. Uh, I don't think this Deprive is going to be very good. So, hmm, this is a really tough brainstorm. So, like, I'm trying to think of the cards I want need in my hand. I need all these. I could maybe put back a land, even. The Lorians. So let's say I put back Island Lorian Revealed, go Island Delver, upkeep, reveal Lorian Revealed, uh, go to my turn, cycle Lorian Revealed, play an Island. I'll then have four spells in the graveyard, but then I won't actually be able to do anything with that mana. I can hold up Deprive from there, but I don't know how good that actually is. Um, it's also possible that the second Treasure Cruise is not very good, although. I think this game's going to go long, and Treasure Cruise is just going to be the best card against my opponent's deck. Um, hmm. Let's just stick with the plan. Do this. Pass to my opponent. Now they're deciding if they want to cast Brainstorm to flip the Delver, I guess. I might actually just want to cycle Lorien on my upkeep. I think I will do that. Um... Because I don't really want to draw an additional Lorien Revealed. Now we're going to brainstorm and flip their Delver. So I'm going to have to decide if this is a game where I'm attacking, like I'm going to try to race them, or if I'm going to try to trade off resources. I think with Treasure Cruise, I'm going to lean towards trading off resources, but I am on the play, so... Let's see how this goes. It's worth noting that my opponent has... Cards like Foil and... 
such and gush in their deck. They think they can raise me, which is totally reasonable. I'm gonna flip my guy. Cycle this. Draw. Um, okay. So I have to decide if I'm blocking or not. If I get to resolve this counter spell, I'm gonna have five spells in the graveyard for the Telerian Tire. Yeah, really not sure. I'm supposed to be racing. I think I'm supposed to play this and pass. But let's see. I kind of want this Delver in the graveyard for the um the treasure cruise. So okay. I'm gonna probably counter whatever they play here. Um, how do I feel about countering this? I think I like countering this. I'm just looking to get spells in my graveyard for the um. Slaying Terror. Okay, they have days. I think I'm fine just jamming into days in this sort of game because I want the die roll, etc., etc. Currently, I have one, two, three, four spells, so they're one mana short of being able to cast a creature. Which they do have. They showed the um, paying costs thing. Okay, so I think I'm just going to cycle Lorien. Do I want to grab a Mystic Sanctuary? Interesting choice. I don't think I do yet. Um, I don't think I want to do that yet. Mystic Sanctuary is nice with the Prive. But I think... Um, hmm. So if I counter this, I play into a daze. My opponent has a creature in their hand, I know. Um, they're never going to not cast a creature, I think. But I think this is a fine spot to counter. If they have another daze, they have another daze. Um, so that's fine. But I think that my opponent's going to be able to convert their days as this game, so I'm just going to jam into the days. Um, okay. Third land comes down. They have one, two, three, four, five spells. So there's creatures cost two. The Tlarian Terrors cost two. The other ones cost three. It's possible that I was supposed to return Sanctuary with the, uh, or get a Sanctuary with the Lurian revealed, but. I think I probably was, but. Okay, they're gonna gush to put another spell in the graveyard, so now their creatures are minimally costed. So now they can foil the Treasure Cruise. Um, so I'm gonna pay for. To have enough mana to pay for days, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna delve away a bunch of stuff. Okay. I'm pass now. I don't really like my position. I'm gonna trade off with the Cryptic Serpent. My opponent has not a lot of lands, but it doesn't really help them. Or, or it doesn't really hurt them, rather. I think my opponent's build with Gush is definitely much better than mine in the the pseudo mirror. So I want to get this in the graveyard so I can delve it away. If they have another creature, it's going to be really hard to win. I don't like that. The way they're paying costs I mean, leads me to believe they have another creature. I think if they play another creature, yeah, it's going to be incredibly difficult to win. It's possible I was supposed to jam into days. The cruise. Probably was supposed to do that. It's a pretty big punish if they do have a day's but Okay, that's really bad. But Okay, so I have a bounce spell now. Um
<sighs> I don't really want to delve away too much. So I play three mana. I delve away four things. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to pass. Cast a second truth on my opponent's end step. If they flip this delver, I'll probably do it in combat. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna let them draw. How's this? And I counter another way back down. If they have another another big creature, they're just winning, so damn. Alright, I think I'm dead. My opponent's deck list is just much better than mine in the in the mirror match, I think. I don't really know. I guess I could have fetched a sanctuary. So the problem here is that I can't actually like I have to delve away all my spells. Because I need mana up for stuff. And now I can't actually cast any creatures, so I'm just kind of dead. I'm gonna spend mana on these. Now my out is that my opponent doesn't flip their delver. Okay, their hand is Thought Scour, Perfect Serpent. How do I ever win this game? I don't think I do. Currently I have one, two, three, four, five. So, how do I win this game? So I can probe them for life. And basically, I think I'm only winning this game if their Delver doesn't flip. So, I probe them for life. Play Slayer and Terror with Spell Pierce back up. They don't flip the Delver. Alright, well, I think this is just my play. Uh, let's go. Cryptic Serpent, no. Uh, Learn to Reveal, Mental Notes, Island, Probe for Life. Flaring Terror. Now they have to cast Foil. If the Stelver flips, I'm basically in zero outs. Okay, now I pierce the foil. They discarded Island, so their hand is Cryptic Serpent. So now the Delver doesn't flip. Okay, no, I'm dead. I want zero outs. I can Sanctuary back the thing, but it doesn't do anything. Um, okay. So, the mirror match, maybe foil is good. I want these, I want this. Um, I think I'm gonna try bringing in some foils. No, I don't like that very much. My opponent's kind of playing around days. One of those maybe, I think one foil can be okay. I think you want to be the aggressor in this matchup. Um, the price seems kind of slow. There are a couple different decisions I could have made in that game, but I think I'm relatively happy with how things played out. Dispel is interesting here. Better than Spell Pierce, probably. Although you can hit... Um, yeah, probably, probably I should have Dispel in a Spell Pierce. I don't exactly know when that's different. Okay. When having Dispel, or when having Spell Pierce, if there's any sorceries in their deck. I don't think they're running Crews, so I probably should have the um, Dispel in over the Spell Pierce. I'm not going to spoil every, anything on this turn, so I'm just going to have six. Really want this Delver to flip. I find the relic interesting. I think in our previous match I countered this relic and that was a pretty large mistake. Come on, Delver. Nice. 
I could actually Lorien for a tapped um, Mystic Sanctuary. I'm going to do. Because it's basically just free. The only time that this isn't free is when I foil something on my opponent's next turn and um, and then they daze me. Delver of Secrets just seems so important in the rematch. There's just so few answers to it. Did I bring in Fall from Favor? I definitely should have if I didn't. Okay, I did. Good. Relic is also sort of a risky proposition because... Let's see if they have a bounce spell for this. Do not. Uh, because if you crack it, it also excels your graveyard. I'm pretty inst interested in casting foil here. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Because this cruise is not going to be good for a while. If they have dispel or a foil of their own, they get to counter back. See how this plays out. The downside to this is that I do lose access to the land, which would allow me to cast the Murmuring Mystic. But I think forcing through this Delver and just getting a clock on my opponent is a good way to win. Okay. Let me look at my opponent's deck list real quick. Let's see. I know they have days. I don't really want to play into days, but I do also want to jam my spell on the stack. Let's see. Um, let's see. So there's three dazes, I think. <laughs> there's no force spike. I haven't given them an opportunity to daze yet, but I think this is a fine play. Nice. Okay. Delver of Secrets just seems extremely important in this matchup. I'm going to play this island down in case I draw into Lorien Revealed. So I could also hold it for Brainstorm purposes. They probably will concede in response to this, I would imagine. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, on the draw. Man, these Delvers, I feel like I want to bounce well in my deck for the Delvers. I'm going out of days on the draw. Maybe a foil. Foil seems surprisingly good. Like, my intuition tells me that, like, this card should be really bad in this matchup because it's like a Delver Mirror, and in Delver Mirrors, your Force Foils are not good. But... Not so sure about that. It just feels like you can't effectively one for one a lot of the stuff. Like there's no the only the only answer to Delver is Delver. Okay, this is a keep, I think, because I've established that Delver of Secrets is the best card in this matchup. Do you have a Delver? I think I should be jamming into Days every time because Days makes their gush worse. Okay, Relic on turn one, which is not good against Delver Secrets. Do they have a Days? Do they want a Days? They do want a Days. I'm going to have an interesting decision next turn, assuming I don't draw a land. But whether or not I want to play out the Delver. If they play, if they hold up a counterspell, they can't hold up a counterspell, so. I'm like one mana. So probably I'm just playing the Delver out. How many, how many um, spell pierces do they have? They have 
two spell pierce, and two on the sideboard. I'm gonna do this. Oh, they're dazing again. Brainstorming. So then I might upkeep Brainstorm, actually. Although I feel like if I do that, it's likely to get spell pierced. Which maybe is okay. Alright, see how this plays out. I really need this Delver to flip. My opponent can't really crack their relic. I don't want to give them a snap. It's really bad. Man. That's really bad. Now I feel super far behind in this match. I'm going to hit my land drop and they had a bounce spell. They only play one snap in the seven. No, they play three snaps in the 75. I guess they're going to in the sideboard. So I'm just going to cast Brainstorm, it's going to get countered, and then we're going to move on. And probably just lose. Oh, perfect. Okay, so... Interesting position. Um, I don't really want to cast Delver of Secrets. My opponent is going to have a counter spell. Um, I think I'm fine putting back the fourth island. So I'll put back... Thought Scour Island pass to them I think Island Thought Scour Island I feel like my opponent is pr pretty likely to have um Okay The problem here is that now my opponent gets to get get on all their creatures under the um under the relic my opponent's deck is much better than mine in this in this mirror match. I'm quite confident in that. It's possible I should have not milled the other thought scour. Ugh, this is just disgusting, to be honest. I could have thought scoured myself in response, but this way I represent the counter some some variety. If I find a foil, I'll cast it, so I guess I'll do this. Yeah, now we're super, super fucking dead. I should have played my land first. This is a punt. This is getting counterspelled. I'm super fucking dead. Okay. I feel like I have a chance now. I need them to cast a spell now, I think. Too smart. Simply too smart. Days, that's Gower Islands. Um, let's go myself because I want to draw into a land. I think this game is winnable, oddly enough. Okay, so now my options are cast Delver or hold up a counter. I think I'm supposed to hold up a counter. Next turn, I can cast Delver to either chump or not chump. To chump or not to chump? That is the question. Yeah, great. My opponent can't have another counter. If they draw into a counter off this mental enough, I just die. Okay. Taking the damage, down to 10. Sanctuary back. Counterspell or mental notes? Counterspell. Okay, do they have gush? I guess they're deciding whether or not to gush now or gush later. 
to assign to Gush later. Um, okay, so if I cast Delver of Secrets, does my opponent want to counter it? Maybe. I need, get, I need to get another counter spell in my graveyard. Cast Delver of Secrets. My opponent doesn't respond. Interesting. Um. I want to like to play all these in one turn. I can cast Cruise and double a three. It's not enough though. I might just block and um, then Echoing Truth for damage. My opponent has a counter spell in their hands. This gets countered, I'm pretty happy. But I don't imagine it will. Okay. So now the card I'm most worried about is Gush. In this spot. I have five spells in my graveyard. They have a creature. Ooh, they're one they're one mana short though. I need a lane now. Land's the best draw. Okay, that actually counts. Because. Does Mystic Sanctuary do anything? It's just free to get Mystic Sanctuary, right? I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. So Mystic Sanctuary is free to get, even though I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna cast Tolerian Terror. My opponent's last card is a creature. So I can counter that, and then play my creatures out, and then refill with crews. Hit Gush. Felt fierce. Okay, I mean, I'm still ahead here, I think, by a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to play these out. My opponent's best draw is once again Gush, I think, because they don't have crews in their deck. They gush into a cantrip. It's pretty good for them. They can gush, replay the sanctuary, and then um, draw into a counter. Okay, so I'm going to start by attacking. I can never die here since this is 9 damage. Yes. Let's see if they block, they don't. Um, okay, so I don't want to. I don't want to cast this for life, I don't think. Because that leaves it my gives my opponent outs. Okay. Um so I can hold everything up, so I'm gonna pay mana for this. Okay, so I can cruise next turn, but I wanna hold up my mana for now. That should be game. GG.